Hari Vishnu, uh, EC62. Congratulations. Uh, next, I would like to invite uh, Vishnu. Uh, Vishnu has done his BTEC from Srinidhi College, and after that, uh, uh, he joined Home Institute in Gate 20 uh, for Gate 2022. And uh, you know, through scholarship test, I think he joined the institute through scholarship test. Uh, so, uh, no, over to Vishnu. Uh, you can share your experience with Home Institute. Okay. Uh, First of all, I, I would like to thank the Home Institute uh, because uh, in Home Institute, they, still, they will uh, make sure that you will fall in, uh, you will fall love in love with sub subject. Previously, I prepared for gate, but uh, I couldn't uh, able to solve problems with ease. Just I was able to solve, uh, uh, like uh, I am able to solve, but not with ease. Like uh, uh, just I am able to get answer, but I am not sure about that answer. It is correct or not. Just somehow I use it to get answer. After joining in home, home institute, uh, just uh, while solving problem, uh, we will know that why we are applying those uh, concepts here. Just uh, first, uh, it is not like uh, he, uh, the thought uh, came into the mind and we applied. We, uh, they will give the clarity uh, how to approach a problem and how to solve it. Uh, those things are helped me a lot, uh, especially. In signal and system is a subject where everyone feel like uh, we get the subject easily. But while solving uh, problems, we will uh, get into like we uh, uh, get easily diverted or uh, we will uh, divide it to another answers. Uh, uh, MISR uh, gave us a clarity such that there is no need of uh, anything deviations. Just go through some uh, normal procedure, uh, we will uh, reach answer easily. And uh, in uh, I mean, uh, electromagnetism subject which I used to be fear of uh, uh, very, uh, I used to feel like very tough. Heyman sir uh, just uh, gave that those basics, electrostatics and electromagnetics, how they will help you, uh, you understand the depth of uh, EMT. Nothing more than that uh, sir uh, taught uh, electrostatics and electromagnetostatics very well. Those things are helped a lot uh, in solving uh, upcoming problems in those EMT subjects. <laughs> And uh, uh, everyone is said about Gautam sir, nothing is there for me to say because uh, he is phenomenal. Everyone knows that. So thank you for home institute. Vishnu, uh, this year he secured All India rank 62. He was a pass out from JNTU. Okay, we'll just start over again. Vishnu, All India Rank 62 in Gate 2022. He's a, from EC background. He was a pass out uh, from Srinidhi College in Gate uh, in 2021. Okay, so this is more like a general scenario where you tend to start your preparation just after you've passed out from college. There will be a lot of students who will actually think of taking a drop. Ideally, the preparation scenario should be starting within your college, but there will be a lot of students who will actually tend to take up preparation very seriously just after passing out from college. So we set an example, he maybe we'll be, you'll be able to correlate your own journey with respect to whatever Vishnu has taken up. So Vishnu, you, I think you've decided to take up uh, a one year full drop just uh, dedicatedly to prepare for GATE. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Yes, I secured uh, section and rank. Yes. Yeah, tell us about the journey. Uh, initially, I started preparing for gate uh, when I was in third year. Uh, initially, I was going, uh, I was attending morning two hours in, a, in another institute, and after that, uh, I used to go to the college. Initially, it was too hectic uh, to manage both uh, coaching as well as college because there is a lot of uh, uh, transportation uh, time is going to. Uh, traveling. I cannot uh, study concentrated on uh, gate as well as my uh, as well as uh, uh, for my college time. Uh, initially, I was able to solve the problems, but I was not uh, sure about the answer. This time I was uh, solving. That's it. Uh, this time I was going through some steps, and I am getting ending up some answer. 
but I'm uh, not confident enough to say that this is for sure hundred percent right answer. Uh, in uh, my when, uh, this is the scenario when I took coaching from an, an uh, other institute. This time in late 2021, uh, this time solve problems. That's it. I don't know if it is right or wrong. This time I was doing something. Okay. Uh, after uh, giving gate in 2021, I got uh, 1600 rank. But I was not satisfied with uh, what I have done. Because I am not uh, having that much clarity on subjects. This time I was doing something, that's it. Uh, I am not satisfied with uh, the concept, uh, conceptual understanding of subjects and everything else. Thereafter, I came across the uh, OM Institute uh, scholarship test. I gave it a try and I got a scholarship uh, in uh, OM Institute. From there, uh, I initially I prepared uh, uh, recorded video lectures. Okay. Uh, after uh, the ending of lockdown, I came to your uh, home institute offline for offline coaching. Okay. I started uh, once again from scratch, everything from networks and uh, from every subject, each and every subject. I attended uh, offline classes from morning to evening. It helped me a lot because uh, here uh, we learned every concept in a uh, Simple way, not complicating those things. If we if we know those simple things, we can uh, uh, easily get those uh, so-called con- uh, complex things. So I learned uh, so many uh, conceptual understanding of knowledge here, so I can easily solve something. Okay, because just you have actually talk, spoken about two things here. I think you've been exposed to live classes as well, yes. recorded as well, offline experience as well. Because I I feel you. Actually preferred for the because maybe you once maybe after the lockdown period when you could have opted for offline, you actually you were mentioning you opted for the offline space and you went through the entire course. Yes. So what is the basic uh, difference that you felt? Like let's say you are someone who is actually dedicatedly preparing full time preparing for gate. Okay. So what is the difference that let's say somebody who's actually totally dedicatedly preparing for gate? What what is the difference that you felt when you are preparing through online as well as offline? Uh, in online, I used to. There is a hurry, hurry element in uh, hurry element. Uh, always, I want to finish my classes fast, and thereafter I can so that I can uh, solve problems. In that hurry, I used to see uh, classes at 1.5 and 2 to expand. Uh, there, the classes will be completed, but uh, understanding of sub, uh, subject knowledge is not enough because there is only hurry element. Just I want to complete those lectures and I have to start solving problems. Whereas in offline classes, I can interact with the uh, lecturers. After the completion of lecture, uh, I can ask doubts. I can interact personally. It makes a lot of different. And whereas in offline, the concentration levels are much more higher compared to online. Because we are in an environment where uh, everyone is uh, uh, focused, not only us. So there are much less deviations in offline classes. Whereas in online classes, it is difficult to focus. So I think the sustenance level of preparation, it is much better. You had a better experience mm-hmm. with the offline space. Yes, sir. Okay. And I the, the reasons were, one major reason you quoted is the faculty interaction. Yes. And moreover, I also feel it's a, among your peers, among your yes, friends, yes. you are able to interact. Okay. What was what your, let's say, a typical study or routine? Let's say somebody was actually preparing dedicatedly for a game. What, what would be the... Uh, and can you can you suggest any timetable, time schedule, how many hours? Yeah. Like what is a, a general schedule? What is it that you followed? Maybe during your classes, just after your classes. You, I I if at all I'm right, you already completed the syllabus were over by maybe October, November or something. Once the syllabus is over, then you are dedicated study hours the entire day. Even then you are exposed. You you spend your time mainly in the institute. So can you correlate with respect to a day that is a general day with lecture? How you used to spend your like, time? Maybe how you used to, let's say a subject is going on, is it the same subject that you are studying? How do you revise a subject that is already over? And can you touch upon those particular? How, how do you spend your day? Uh, uh, initially, I was attending classes uh, here. Uh, usually, class starts at from morning to evening. Okay. The class will end up at evening. Uh, after evening, I used to take around uh, half an hour to one hour break. Okay. Thereafter, uh, I used to again uh, uh, revise those basics. I, uh, I developed one thing uh, in this uh, home institute. Uh, after immediate after completion of lecture, I I didn't solve problems. 
बिकॉज वॉट वी से फैकल्टी विल बी प्रोवाइडिंग ऑलमोस्ट एवरी फैकल्टी विल हैव देर ओन अप्रोच वील बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम ऑन दट अप्रोच इट सेल्फ we don't have any our own approach if we solve uh, problems immediately after completion of lecture mm. so i have to maintain around 10 to 15 days gap after completion of uh, every subject uh, after uh, 10 to 15 days gap i have to solve each and every problem of previous year questions mm. so that i can solve on my own way okay. so that I, i can know that where is i am uh, able not able to solve and uh, difficulty is there for me this mm. way Okay. This I personally feel is a very good approach because periodic revision is something which will actually help you a lot because it is not just one subject. There are nine subjects yes. we have to be always in touch. Maybe when the subject is going on, you are always in touch with that subject. subject. Let's say after that subject is over, you have to still be in touch with that subject. So you've actually taken a break. When the subject is going on, you just pay attention totally to the lecture, and then you take a break, and then uh, while you while, while you took, okay, you take a break previous previous year. And what are what was what was the base of problems that you have kept? Is it just the PYQs, handout? What 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 was your what was your database of questions that you used to solve? And how many times did you solve? Let's say it's all about confidence. Okay, I pers. But let let's say somebody generally students seeing a question, the approach should come to your mind. That that should be let's say game questions there on on your screen. If at all that approach comes to your mind, then your pen starts moving. So for somebody to gain that confidence, what is a database of questions that he has to solve? and how many times how how can somebody feel confident about it plus i don't feel anybody who's actually maybe a rank of 1000 or 2000 even up to 2000 he is not he is he may be thorough with the subject somebody might a topper might have an advantage that might be with respect to accuracy and speed it's not with respect to the knowledge base maybe somebody who's also 2000 he might also have the same knowledge so how do you gain that extra edge how do you gain it ki matlab is that with a lot of practice Or is the database of questions? What are the database of questions that you maintain? Yeah, here uh, I solved uh, home institute handouts as well as previous year questions. Now I have to add one more point of advantages of offline coaching. Uh-huh. Here uh, every sir is uh, they will write questions uh, on board and they will uh, give time to solve. Okay. That is the main area where I improved myself a lot because though in those time I I improved a lot uh, solving capability. Uh-huh. because uh, while solving uh, those problems because every lecturer here is uh, collecting uh, those questions from various uh, different materials okay. uh, if we can able to solve those questions uh, with our uh, personally in that time then it will be good yes. so i uh, try i try to solve those problems uh, with full concentration it helped me uh, to boost my confidence as well okay. and how many times does somebody has to solve a problem Let's say a fresher, totally a fresher starting out. How many times do you have to solve the same problem to gain confidence? And and what are the problems? Let's say of the first time that you solved, maybe you are not able to have that accuracy levels, or maybe the time factor. It's time factor is also again very important that you solve in the least possible time. So how much times do you? What is the number? I think of it is uh, two to three. Two to three times the PYQs as well as like the extra questions in the form handouts. Yes. It should, it, it should not be solving entirely. Just to, we have while going through the handout, we have to know that how we can solve those problems. Yes, that I particularly feel is one more advantage with respect to the offline space because offline space you are actually creating an ambience where somebody writes it on the board and the faculty himself is asking the entire class to solve. That that ambience, the mood it creates, it's, it's actually something very good. Let's say so that is one the very first level that when you gain your that confidence level maybe more than the confidence is that interest okay I'm able to solve a good problem I'm able to solve a good problem that interest you take it back home even when you because many of many students who might be actually interested to dedicate one year they might actually feel one more thing is okay offline you are attending seven six seven hours of class how do you actually sustain your preparation for the entire day. Uh, maybe it is because of these these small small yeah, yeah, motivations yeah. that you yeah. get out of that offline. Okay, you try to solve it in the class. That that energy that you yes, take back it. carried out to the and uh, maybe does the study rooms has it helped you? The study yes, rooms study rooms room. has helped a lot me because we can uh, there is a, it is a space where we can interact with our uh, friends a lot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, While preparing, we have we can uh, learn from our friends also in many ways, like uh, approach uh, in a problem. 
because uh, someone will have a different and easy approach. Okay. The level on uh, level of understanding will be different for different uh, uh, candidates. So it will it is helpful. Sure. So and uh, how do you, do you actually approach the exam? The three per three hours because. The entire one year of preparation, you have to actually bring it down to those three hours. So, how did you try to actually think about that particular exam? I am not a. I am not a. Uh, what do you say? Uh, have has to answer this question because I messed up a lot in this exam. Still, I got sixty two rank because of this institute uh -huh. because uh, you sir has given in that extra edge. So that even though I committed many mistakes, I got sixty two rank. Uh, I am not uh, attended. Uh, up to my full potential this exam. So I got the 60 rank because of the extra edge we have given. Can you, can you uh, focus upon uh, on the subjects that you actually, uh, how, what was, uh, how old was your, what was your preparation? How much confidence did you gain in any subject? What of subject wise, if you can throw some light on what are the general subjects? Yes, uh, uh, I will start with the uh, electric circuits. Uh, there is no need of uh, by adding any formula. Okay. Just if you have honest, uh, understanding of subject is very well, you can solve al almost every problem. Just uh, there are around 10 to 15 formulas you have to know. After revising 2-3 uh, times, uh, automatically you can remember those formulas. Okay. So the subject is uh, done. If you have practice well enough, uh, the subject is done. Uh, coming to signals and systems, uh, the, here uh, basically I personally think that practice is needed. Practice is much, plays a much more important role. Because uh, it can easily deviate to wrong answers. Yes. Uh, because where I, uh, most of the time I ended up uh, making those wrong answers. So in this subject, uh, the understanding of subject as well as practice is, uh, practice required is, I compare it to other subjects. Okay. Yes. So subjects like signals, the focus should be on more practice. practice. More on practice. More on practice and what about the approach? The approach, how, how do you plan your approach? Yeah, take up any question. That's any, any question for that matter. Yeah, most of the I feel that uh, in signals, we have to be thorough with the properties. Because uh, I observed that in previous year questions, they will play around with those properties. Itself. Once you get to know that the core of uh, that uh, problem is some property, you can easily tackle those uh, uh, problems. Okay. And uh, subjects like EDC and law? EDC. Uh, I was saying that uh, while I was preparing for GATE 2021, I left out the subject EDC as well as EMT uh, because I was not uh, interested in listening those subjects at that uh, previous institute. Those was not uh, that much interesting for me. Uh, I found it like more like a uh, subjective course, like formulative course. That's it. Uh, after coming here, the EDC subject, I felt like uh, we can once we feel the subject, we can easily go through uh, some formulas and we can uh, get to the answer easily. Whereas in EMTL, if we are uh, well enough, uh, uh, we have enough confidence uh, for electrostatics and magnetostatics, statics, we can replicate those things into EMA uh, next level, like uh, uh, propagation of uh, wave in free space as well as in wave. Gate. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing your experience. Because I'm sure there are a lot of students who will be able to are are right now in a this are right now in a position where they are thinking about taking up what what is the decision that they have to further take up and mostly final year students who have actually just passed out of college so your journey obviously will give them a lot of motivation thank you all the best. Thanks.